Thanks for joining us everybody and welcome to ABC 24's live team coverage of the midterm elections. A lot at stake tonight and one of the most closely watched issues is happening right across the river in Arkansas where voters will decide on whether to legalize recreational marijuana. Arkansas is one of five states in fact taking up that issue tonight and polls show in Arkansas at least it could be close. Brad Broders is live at a precinct in West Memphis for us tonight. Brad, what's the scene out there now and what are voters telling you about this issue number four on legalizing weed? Well, Richard, to your two questions, we're seeing a steady stream of voters from this late afternoon when we arrive to right now, now that many voters are off work. And with those voters I've spoken with, one thing for sure, this recreational marijuana decision is drawing plenty of passion from those on both sides. Now, we caught up with voters at one of Crittenden County's busiest precincts on Election Day, West Memphis High School. While the natural state also has a gubernatorial race today, it's clear the recreational marijuana issue is front and center on on many voters minds. If approved, the measure would impact surrounding states, especially those just miles from West Memphis, including obviously the city of Memphis. Opponents believe it would create new and unwelcome issues to the state, while supporters believe that it will allow law enforcement to prioritize their efforts elsewhere. Jails overcrowded with people who having just a little bit of it and so that, that free up some room. If they know they can have that little, maybe everything will be all right. It's illegal, you know, right now. It's, like I said, an entry, entry drug that leads you to other drugs. And it just opens up, you know, another DUI under driving on the influence. 21 and older could carry and use up to one ounce of marijuana. It would take effect in March and authorize 12 additional cultivation and 40 additional dispensary licenses. Marijuana would be taxed at 10% and law enforcement would receive 15% of that revenue. A reminder, there's still time to vote. Polls don't close until 7.30 p.m. here in the natural state. We'll be here in Crittenden County throughout the evening as the results come in, and we'll get reaction from both sides when that result is known on both sides of this hotly contentious issue. Live in West Memphis, Arkansas, I'm Brad Broders.